Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a text envelope distort effect in Adobe Illustrator. So we've created a new document in Illustrator and added our vector shape to the artboard. If you'd like to learn how to create the shape that you're seeing on screen, the water droplet, I'll link this tutorial below in the description. Alternatively, if you have your own shape, great. If you have no shape at all, don't worry, you can select either of the shape tools or the pen tool and just do a dot to dot and create your own shape. Just make sure that your shape is a closed path so all of the lines touch and you don't have any gaps like this. So just make sure that that path is closed and you're all good to go. So once you've got your shape, select the type tool, left click on the artboard and type a word. We're just going to hold shift and scale this up proportionally from the corner. And then you can go ahead and select a font and a font weight and style your text as you like. I'm using ASAP bold for this tutorial, a personal favorite font of mine. And once you've done that, just select your shape, go to object, arrange and bring to front just to make sure that your shape is above your text. Now the two items don't actually need to touch each other. However, if we just drag over both of these items and then go to object down to envelope distort and select make with top object, what it will do is it will combine the text and the shape together and effectively warp the text to fit the shape. What we can do now is we can double click on this and go inside and we can change the text if we like, that's all still editable. And we can come back out of that group. Or we could just select the text and give this a color of our choice. So whether you keep the text editable or whether you expand the text is entirely up to you. If you'd like to expand it and turn it from editable text into a shape within Illustrator, just make sure it's selected and go to Object expand, leave object and fill selected, click OK and you'll see that this is now no longer editable text but a shape within Illustrator. And we can leave this with a solid fill or we can go ahead and apply a gradient. So with the shape selected I'm going to change my panel view here just by clicking that double arrow, just to expand these out. Personally, I find it a lot easier to have this view because then I can easily view all of my swatches and drag them onto the gradient slider. So we can just click anywhere on the gradient slider. The default is black to white, and you'll see that it's applied a gradient effect to each letter individually. Now we don't want that, we want the gradient to run from left to right through the water text as a whole. So that's an easy fix. All we do with our shape selected is go to object, down to compound path and select make. And what it will do is it will turn all of the individual paths, the individual letters that don't touch each other into one compound path. So there we go. Now we can start dragging our swatches onto the swatches on the gradient slider. And then we can adjust the angle as well. So 45 degrees, we'll have that running on a diagonal, or we can have it running vertical from top to bottom, or we can reverse the gradient and go bottom to top. And there we go, that's how to create a text envelope distort effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.